Hey guys, it's Shannon with iHeartRadio Nights here with JP Sachs. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having how me. How are you? I'm having a really good day. Yeah? How are you? Even though it's a rainy Toronto day. You you would not believe how many people have apologized for the rain. Oh, yeah? It's It's been really nice. Yeah. Because, I mean, you're used to LA sun. Yeah. Either they, like, are just being kind and apologetic or they are power tripping and think it's their fault. Oh, yeah. That's true. Well, I, I will apologize again on behalf of Toronto for it um, being such terrible weather. I'll forgive you. Someday. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, wh- oh, yeah. Was there a specific moment when you first started in music that you thought like okay I want to make this a career or was that always the case um yeah I think uh when I was a teenager and I saw that there was a possibility that the one thing I was good at could be the one thing I got to do um I jumped on it because I didn't do great in school I didn't really like doing most of the things that I was told I was supposed to Um, And music was the thing I did when I was procrastinating, doing everything else I was supposed to. And I figure if you can make a career out of the thing you do when you're procrastinating other things, then you probably should do everything you can. And it, it, you know, it took a second, but here we are. That's good. Did it start with piano, guitar, writing music? How did it start? Uh, It started with um, piano and singing. Um, Guitar came later as a teenager. And then it really sort of took off when... um, I didn't understand any of my feelings uh, and didn't have any sort of way to figure them out other than songs. And they sort of, to this day, have been how I've explained myself to myself. Is it easier to deal with like relationship problems and things going on in your life by writing music? Or is it kind of harder because you're putting yourself in that vulnerable state? Both. Um, Upon writing a song, it's really therapeutic because I get to take this thing that is if it's a difficult feeling, which it isn't always, hopefully. Um, (laughs) Upon writing the song, I get to take something that's hard to feel and put it into something other than myself, and that's healing. Um, And then eight months later, when I don't have that feeling anymore, but I'm performing that song, I then have that song to give me the feeling back. Yeah, and you can just use it. Yeah, if, if it's something I want to feel again. Right. Uh, so yeah, it, it's, it's both. It's can you both. Um, tell me the story about performing at um, a wedding from someone who slid into your DMs? Yeah, so I have a song called The Few Things, which is a love song, and um, people have integrated into their loves, which is really cool, whether it be weddings or their relationship song or you know walking down the aisle to it. So there was a wedding that I, um, the, the groom asked me to come surprise uh, his bride and play it for their first dance. They were gonna dance to it anyway, but I, I showed up and they, they were very emotional. It was, it was really, really cool. I could hardly look at him. It was so, it was so, uh, just lovey-dovey. That's so nice that you did that. I don't feel like a lot of artists would like go out of their way to go and actually perform at someone else's wedding that they didn't even know. Yeah, I mean, it was. I love love, and I'm I'm a saint. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you really are. What's, yeah. that's gonna be hard too, especially because the song is kind of like a breakup song. Well, no, the few things isn't a breakup okay, song. Okay, but yeah. The f- the few things is is a love song. Right. Um, there's a lot of other songs which are. I don't like to call them breakup songs. I like to call them post love songs. Okay, I like that. Um, maybe because I'm pretentious, but also because they're not all about breaking up. They're about you know what it's like after. Right. Um, how did you get Charlotte Lawrence on the track? How did that come about? We're friends. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, we're friends, and she had you know, she would come to my shows, and uh, I texted her about I wanted to do a duet and I just texted her and said hey want to sing it with me and she said yes and then came to the studio the next day it was very simple yeah that's so nice yeah she's the homie yeah and then same room recently just came out Mm -hmm. congrats on that thank you um that's also a post love (laughs) song I appreciate it um what's kind of the inspiration behind that song um that was the first post love song that I wrote (laughs) uh and it was I wrote three days after the first day uh after that you know, person that I'd spent a long time being in love with decided we were just going to love each other separately. Um, That's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the long winded way of saying we got dumped. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) So the following day, totally fine. I had hardly any feelings. I was doing quite all right. Day after that, still pretty chill and thinking to myself, breakups were easy and I was going to be fine. And the third day I went to a friend's concert that I did not anticipate uh, her also being at. And then we didn't interact in any way. And I got home that night and it was no longer fine and wrote the song that night. 
That's so nice. I, I like typically if I well, I feel like if I'm in ever the, that situation, I just like go eat ice cream or like a lot of carbs and just cry. But you like turned it into something beautiful. I mean, I did those things too. Okay. Uh, I was sitting on my couch and I was scrolling through Instagram trying to numb my feelings, and then I follow TED Talks on Instagram, which is a I didn't realize was a risk, uh, and then you know ran into that TED Talk that I reference at the beginning of the song. It's, it's all a true story. The first verse of that song. Yeah, about I was going to ask if there was actually a TED Talk on There Heartbreak. is a TED Talk on Heartbreak. I think it's called How to Fix a Broken Heart. It's but why it is called that. It's by Guy Winch. <laughs> and I watched it, and the dude says, don't look through the photos. And I'm like, strong suggestion. Pause. Photos. Oh, no. Why would you do that to yourself? Nostalgia. I don't know. We're not like, I wasn't a perfect at getting over breakups quite right. yet. It was new. Yeah. I was an amateur. But I now I'm like an expert at getting over this shit. I was going to say, you're kind of an expert now because there's probably this like thousands and millions of people that listen to your music and it helps them mend their broken hearts. I wish everyone who got some clarity in their broken heart from one of my songs, I got by osmosis a little bit of clarity on yeah. my own. It does not seem to work like that way. like commission, love commission. It's a, it's a strong idea. It yeah. could be an app. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so you're working on an album that's I coming am. out later this year. Yes. Um, How has that whole process been? It's been amazing. I mean, it's it's my favorite part. Parts of getting to do my job are going to the studio and being as uncompromising about crafting emotional worlds for all of these feelings and all these songs as I can, and then getting to go out on the road and play them for people. And I'm going on tour in the fall. Uh, with Noah Kahan, which I really cannot wait for. Yeah, that's so exciting. So how do you prepare yourself for tours? Is there anything specific that you do? Uh, Just water your plants and pack your bag and go out? I have to make sure there's a friend to water my plants, okay. which I didn't do last time, so now I have new plants. All right, <laughs> um, <laughs> Prepare. I mean, I've only done it three times, so I haven't really put my full routine together. Yeah. Um, I love being on the road. It's like it's the most rewarding part of all of this because it is like songs impacting people when it's like, a stream count is pretty intangible. It's cool, but it's like not something you really know how to internalize, at least I don't. Right. Uh, but being able to like go into a city you've never been to and meet a few hundred people who are want to talk to you about you know, intimate parts of their lives because your song connected to them in some way, like that's the coolest thing ever. Like, I yeah. love that. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming by and sharing your stories. And Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank it's you so much. Been great.